Hello again, I'm Eric Rinsfold, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Rachel, who asks, what is deep linking? That is a very good question. The topic of deep linking has been around for a while, but has been in the news recently due to upcoming changes in Apple's next release of iOS, iOS 9. At a high level, deep linking is the ability to jump directly into a specific place in your application from somewhere outside of the application. For example, if a friend sends you a link to a great new restaurant on Yelp, clicking the link on your phone would open the Yelp app and would load the page with information about the restaurant. The Android platform has supported this type of link resolution for some time now. If you're an Android user, you'll be familiar with the disambiguation dialog that appears when you click on a link, asking you if you want to open the content in the browser or in the app installed on your phone. In the next release of Android, app publishers can set up that connection between link and app with a new flag in the manifest and a web link on the requested server that allows them to bypass this dialog, which should make for a much more seamless user experience. iOS 9 will provide the same experience and setup is nearly identical. The good thing is, both platforms use the same old web URLs that have been around for decades. So if you don't have the app installed, if you click the link, you won't get an error, you'll just be taken to the web page as expected. But what if, as a developer, you want these users to be able to download your app instead? Currently, neither Apple nor Google have a streamlined solution to this problem, so we turn to third parties for now. One such solution provider is Branch. Branch lets you configure all of your app's various destination links in one place. Then, when a user clicks on this special branch link, their service detects what device you are using and whether or not you have the app installed, and routes you directly where you want to go. If you don't have the app installed, it will direct you to the store and then bring you to your desired content after installation. If you do have the app installed, then it links the user directly to the expected destination. Another instance of deep linking is linking between apps. For example, when reviewing movies in the IMDb app, you may find a Netflix button that, when tapped, would take you directly to the page about the movie within the Netflix app. Using the intent system in Android, and with the new deep linking support in iOS 9, developers can expose a schema for third-party apps to deep link users into their own app. Developing and publishing the schema is a great way to get other people to use your app. As the lines blur between mobile web and native apps, we expect to see more companies implementing solutions like this to give their customers the best experience possible and get them the information they need quickly. That's it for this episode of Ask a Dev. Thanks for watching. As always, tweet your questions to us with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.